主裁判 Chief Referee 的金国基，恭喜，恭喜你了。Good afternoon to you and welcome to China. This is the Sankovic Cup 2014. Dong Feng Yui there, Kia Sankovic Cup. And uh, we're from Yaoyang City in Henan Province in China. We're at the Yaoyang Sports Centre for the first of a few matches. A shortened version this year. If you followed us before, it's a round robin format. Have, uh, Slovenia and Russia for you in this first match this afternoon and uh, a very enthusiastic crowd hopefully we can get a few more people in the doors but, uh, both these teams will be looking to lay down a marker in this tournament uh, there is actually four teams so we have Angola and China as the other two teams they'll be up for you a little bit later but, uh, for now let's have a look at uh, the Russian starting five and uh, we see there Zakharov, Balashov, Fisherov. Uh, on the Slovenian side there we have Slokar, Zupan, Muric, Lorbeck and Globukar. Russian coach Vasily Karasov, 43 years old, took over 2013. Uh, former CSK Moscow player will be looking to install some uh, good discipline into this team. A lot of this Russian team uh, played in the under-20 European leagues over the last couple of seasons and are just graduating through to uh, the main teams. The Slovenian side, while well, most of those play at home, uh, there are a couple of players. Nikolic uh, with no club at the moment and also Krusic with no club. But, uh, this match will follow the FIBA rules. Uh, we're about to get underway. Ten minutes each quarter. Four quarters, of course. Slightly different uh, from the NBA. Five fouls and a team is fouled out. Same for the uh, players as well. And uh, we are just about to get underway here. One of the teams doing their usual customary getting together. The referee for this match is Timothy Boswell from Australia. And uh, he has a couple of local assistants to help him out here. FIBA qualified referees. So as the atmosphere, Slovenia of course in the white. Russia in their familiar red strip. Just about to get the tip off. And we're away. This Slovenian team got in quite late yesterday morning. They haven't really had much time to practice. They actually missed a free practice session this morning. And so expect them to maybe be a little bit rusty. Although they do get the first points on the board. And we are away. So very easy little two-pointer there from them. Shot clock winding down. 
pick up our first foul of the match. And just a foul there from uh, the Slovenian starter. It's number 14, it's their point guard. That's uh, Kublukar. Meter 98. And uh, plays for Kirka in Slovenia. This is Nikita Balashov from the three throw line. And uh, not, not successful there. So Slovenia take it out from the backcourt. Uh, good early movement from them. The shot clock's winding down. They'll need to have a shot from the three-point area. A little bit slow in doing that. So Russia will get possession. And, uh, just about a minute gone in this first quarter. There is the Slovenian coach, Jure Djokov. And uh, he's assisted by Stefanos Dedas, both former players. And of course, very experienced. This is great experience all round for these teams, both of whom pushing for uh, a lot of these players to uh, get better internationally. And certainly coming to somewhere like China here. You see there again, foul caught in the act of shooting. And, uh, it will be Nikita Balashov again from the three throw line, 207 centimetres tall. Balashov, 90 kilos. And uh, let's see if he can put the first points on the board. And early on, gets Russia back in contention. Two points all. Pop your car, brings it from the backboard. Good backing in there. Three pointer comes in. Beautifully taken there by Lobeck. The shooting guard, 198. Royal Halley, Gaziam Tep, he plays for in Turkey. It's a real international feel about all these players. But, uh, lost there. Bounce pass not coming off. Lobby car will bring it out again. Makes a drive for the basket. And, uh, that ball out of bounds. And uh, it will be the Russian team to get us back underway. 7.47 on the clock still remaining in this first quarter. Here in the Laojiang. Gymnasium, Laojiang City, Hanan Province in China. So again, number 11 in the thick of it, Balashov. So just being barged off it there. And a good quick two pointer there by Uros Schlocka. Both teams looking to get those three pointed in and around the basket. Uh, shot clock's running down, and one will have to come in fast. And, uh, foul picked up there. Number seven, it's uh, Vikrov. Managing to get the foul, as you see, makes a drive. Passed uh, off the ball there. And it will be the Russian team in possession. Put us back underway. 14 seconds left on the shot clock. And now 13. So. So there's still nine seconds left to do something and it looks like we're going to go for the three-pointer. 
with their only option at this stage. Beautifully taken there by Zakharov. Shooting guard from Dynamo Moscow. And the Russian team down seven points to five early on in this match. Good work under the basket on Slokar, but uh, to no avail, and Russia are back on the attack early. So this Stankovic Cup in its 10th year really has been a great breeding ground for all the players who've gone on and worked hard and got into the A-teams. Really great uh, team building and team bonding for these teams having to come into different places in China. Uh, last year was in uh, Guangzhou. We had some great play, Australian team also with us there as were the German side. Uh, we also had uh, a week in Nanjiao, so plenty of basketball last year. This year a little bit different due, due to the World Cup. We've got a much shorter roster, but uh, I'm sure these teams that have come here will really benefit from playing these matches. Certainly uh, China team playing later in Sango, we expect a full house in uh, the stadium. So back to three throws now will be Lorbeck. The Royal Holly player. 1 meter 98. Uh, again as we see in a lot of these games, free throws being missed quite readily. Quick break there. Superbly taken. Again, that was the Russian number five, Zakharov. And, uh, again there, little stop. Still 5.30 left in this first quarter. And, uh, number nine for Russia comes on. That is... Uh, Fiddy done off. Number 12 off. That's uh, Fiddy. So Spiddy done off. Plays for uh, Triumph Lubersity in uh, the Moscow region. And it will be number 14, uh, Lobby Car. Plays his basketball in Slovenia. And they just ease out a three-point lead here. And, uh, about halfway through this first quarter. And again, got off to a little bit of a, a slow start. Both, both teams running quite late. So a little bit of jet lag expected. So I'm certain that uh, after three matches in this tournament, they'll play themselves right into the match. They'll be due to play China and Angola in the other matches over the next few days. We're looking forward to that as they don't have time to beat the shot clock. And Slovenia get us back on the way from the backboard. Work there by uh, Zupan, feigning there for the three pointer, but just slipping the ball in. <laughs> Slovenia will retain possession. 14 seconds left on the shot clock, 4.50 left in this first quarter. As uh, Russians make another substitution. Point comes in. And, uh, get the rebound there. Number five, Zakrov working hard for Russia. He's been one of the best players in this first quarter. The uh, little shooting guard. One 
95 centimetres for him. Foul on uh, Zupin, number 10. Cheers, taking out Zakharov. We'll go to the line and have a couple of throws. So, takes that first one nicely. 4.28 still left in this first. And there's some good rebounding work there by the defence. Uh, Slovenia just need to react a little bit of pace into this match. A little three-point effort coming in. That was uh, Muric. Straight away, Russia very quick to get back. Uh, this match just starting to build up the momentum. Both teams just getting into it. Slight misunderstanding there. And uh, Slobika just firing the ball out. Getting possession away very easily. And Russia number 14 for them comes on. Babushkin. Uh, number four goes off. Komolov. Pushkin plays for Triumph Liberty in Moscow as well. Again, as I say, a lot of these players uh, played in the under 20 Euro Leagues 2013. Uh, just now progressing into more of the senior setup. And this is a good showcase for them here. Show their skills. Uh, Managing to keep hold of that one. Dragic showing uh, pretty pretty good skills for him. And 10 points all in this first. Will be Slovenia retaining possession. We'll get us back underway. Again, not the best of passes. Drive into the basket. Perhaps should have gone for the shot, but went for the three-pointer instead. Comes off the rim and uh, gives this Russian team a chance to get back at them as quickly as possible. Zakharov just hovering around in sort of three-point range, but uh, Sarajevko choosing to go by himself. Just feel the pace of this match is upping very slightly now from both teams. Saw there, number 10. A foul there, but uh, Slovenia will retain possession. And just a quick change for them. Looks like uh, number 13 coming on is uh, Lorbeck. Losing possession very easy. Russia there on the quick break. And again, a holding foul. We do have five team fouls now, so Russia will go to the three throw line. So Yako with the shot. And Russia for the first time in this match. Just ease one point ahead. First quarter here, 214 left. And again, a little bit lax in defense there, but uh, managed to get away with that one. And they will bring it away. So Matt 
Matic, Rebek on for Slovenia, the number 33. One meter 80 point guard. Getting right into the action here. Just uh, shielding uh, Jarasko. Good work there from uh, Dragic in defense, just keeping the Russian team at bay. They're going to need to shoot now. Just three seconds left on the shot clock, and the shot comes in. It's a little bit rushed in the end. It just comes off the basket. And, uh, Back gets us back underway. So, a bit of a weak three point effort there from uh, Slokar. No real need to shoot there, so still plenty of time left on the clock for him. But, uh, a little bit of a waste. Seeing some in this match, uh, some bad decisions being made by uh, here in the end. Really not uh, using their heads in the final third of the court. Should really be ahead at this stage. It's one point down, less than a minute to go in this first. Against a good static defense. We have to do, do too much. But, uh, bit of Donov putting that one in. And Russia out to a three-point lead, and again, concentration there from Rebek. We know where his players are. And, uh, as we thought, maybe this Slovenia team is lacking that little bit in cohesity at the moment. A bit of lack of practice. And I'm sure they'll get better as the matches go on. But at the moment, lack of concentration not working well for them. So, just about 20 seconds left. Go for the slam dunker there. He's the tallest player on the Russian team. Uh, Dejakinov, 7 foot 3. And, uh, Average 6.1 points in the European Under-20 League last year. But, uh, has no problems with that. 4.9 rebounds per game. Yeah, very nicely done. 18.9 seconds left. will wind down. Rebek. Have to hurry. Shot comes in. So, end of that first quarter. Russia leading Slovenia. 15 points to 10.
先生，请坐。第二位参赛者是俄罗斯队十四岁的队员，开始比赛。So, just about to get underway here with the second quarter. Stankovic Continental Cup 2014. Here from Yaoyang City, Hanan Province in China. Russia, Slovenia. The Russian team 15-10 led after that first quarter. Slovenia having some good positions, but uh, a little bit tired, one could say. Uh, just joining Slovenia in the white, Russia in their familiar red strip. Uh, points pretty evenly spread. Russia's so top scorer is their number five, Slokar, with five points. A couple of fouls uh, for them. And, uh, Slovenian team picking up fouls, a little bit, uh, a bit sloppy at times. see there wishing to pick up a foul again on number 23 and uh, we'll see the tallest man in the in the tournament seven foot three inch triumph liberty moscow region center Shakin off and, uh, this time not really concentrating just put a couple of free throws away earlier and uh, just missing out on that so Russia do obtain possession very quickly great conversion there from uh, Zarachko uh, they are seven points in the lead. A very quick three pointer there from uh, Rebelik. Uh, Slovenia right back in this one. We see there seven from seven there from three point range. We are in the second quarter. Ten minutes, a corner under fever rules. First team, two, five fouls. Slovenia pick up a second team foul there. In the second quarter. Uh, Russia there, as we say. It's picking up some points. 16.6 from the three throw line for Slovenia in that first quarter. Uh, that's percentage 40% from two points. Seven rebounds in total. Russia there, 33.3 from three point range, 42% from two point range. Eight rebounds. Pretty close in general from both teams. Reflected there in the score. It's Russia certainly looking more dynamic than two teams. Makes it two. Also picks up. A foul there and a little bit of afters. Number 12 in there from Russia. Fiddy. See there, quick break. And what a great steal there from Vikrov. Brings it in. A foul there. Manages to get the basket. Get the extra point. Russia bringing on a number 11. Balashov, number 15. To Shakinov, off. After a pretty good shift for them. So, see there, five points, one steal, three rebounds for him. And uh, just edging themselves 
little bit ahead, 21 points to 13. 7.53 left in the second quarter. Just a little foul there, Slovenia will be in possession. So the foul's racking out for both teams here, Slovenia on three, Russia on one. And lack of concentration allows them to steal in behind that basket. Vikrov just looking up, plenty of time left on the clock. Bullet pass there. Sakharo. Number seven from Slovenia just picking up the foul there. It's uh, Prepolik. That's his first so far. Again, no real marking there. In the zone. And uh, the Russian team edging ahead. Prepolek himself on to five points. But, uh, you never know in these games, uh, point three points are there. We see three, three from nine, one from nine, Russia. Slovenia uh, slightly better from three point range. Sorry, Asko. Uh, the foul committed. 14 fouls now for Slovenia. The Russian team will get the ball. Gets back underway. Yeah, number 14. Wobukar. Most of the three points out. Yeah, just all of a sudden there. It's up uh, a nice one. Three points. Good team on five points personally. Well, Slovenia really coming into life at the end of the second quarter. And, uh, yes, they do that. Zakharov, point guard from Gimiki in Moscow, picks up the three pointer. It's five out for Russia. So, it's uh, the Russian coach Vasily Adasev. Chats to his Russian team. You see there the score 5 52. The clock stopped on in the second. Slovenia 21 26 down to Russia. This is the Stankovic Continental Cup 2014 from uh, Yao Yang Gymnasium, Yao Lang City in Henan Province. And, uh, it's a couple of hours from Hong Kong. And, uh, this Stankovic Continental Cup in its 10th year. We had a nice uh, opening evening last night. There are lots of dignitaries and officials talking about this great area, how beautiful it is, some of the most beautiful cities in China. So famous for its Kung Fu. The players do have a rest day in a couple of days' time before the finals. So I'm sure they'll be going out and investigating all that the locals can show them. So let's get back underway now. 5.52 left in the second. Four to 
two. Slovenia lead on the team foul stakes. The Russian team, their stars. Vikrov. And then five on Zakharov. Playing particularly well for Russia. Defense there, just sitting back. Pushing a little pick and roll happening there. And uh, all of a sudden now, it's a good play. Russia leading 28-21. Again, Vlasic uh, just allowed to walk through that Russian defence. So we're not seeing good tight defending from both teams at times here. Vlasic, foul on number five. Zakharov, we see here, eight points for him. Three from three from field goal range. Not been too many opportunities to shoot for three point range. So it almost seems easy to get in and under the basket for both of these teams. So, again, 449. Number 10, Zupan from uh, Slovenia. He's on three fouls personally himself now. So we'll have to be careful for the remainder of this match. Vanishoff, number 11, from the line. I have a couple of throws. This is this Russian team into a nine point lead. 4.46 left here in the second. Slovenia with a quick break. A couple of opportunities for three points that didn't really happen. Good rebounding under the basket there. Oh, the Russian team, they just seem to want it more at times. Shame there. Yeah, number nine, Blazic. Opportunity for a three pointer there. But, uh, didn't really come off. Russia now will go back to the line. Vikrov. Number seven. So one in goes to five points personally for him. So one in as well, and it's an eleven point ball game. So Slovenia will bring on a substitution. It's number thirteen. Borbeck coming on, number 14. Hobby car off. Hobby car with one personal foul against him. Five points in this match so far. And uh, stop on 12 seconds. Hobby now. Two shots. Number nine coming on for Russia. Spiri Donov. And just a chance to slow things down a little bit, get a couple of points on the board. Great work under the basket there. 23, Alan Omic. And, uh, Omic, good work for him. A couple of points on the board. One foul against him in this match so far. Again, just strolling through. So 
unable to make anything happen that occasion. Vlasic comes out. Slovenia still plenty of time, 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Really being hassled. We'll need to have that three pointer or have a go. So the reset lost, lost the ball. And really should have just slowed it down. So gave up the ghost there in the end. Certainly so on against them. And we'll go all the way back up the other end. Sari Asko, the number 10, back on. So we have a timeout, uh, Slovenia. Just needed to right the ship there. You see Russia leading by a full eight points, 3.28 left in the second quarter. All the way from the Yaojang Sports Centre in uh, Hanan Province. Head coach uh, Juri Jukov will be talking to his Slovenian team. You see there a couple of good rebounds off the backboard there. And, uh, the number five for Russia, Zakharov, having a pretty good game so far for them. The little shooting guard, 90 kilos and uh, 195 made his presence known in this match so far. Lazic, well, he's had a pretty good game there for Slovenia. And, uh, plenty of points to go. Lazic on one foul himself. Just need to really inject maybe a little bit more pace. A little bit more composure in that final third of the court there for Slovenia. Whereas at times they're trying to rush things not really looking at the shot clock, not realising that they probably have more time than they actually do. But, uh, still plenty of time in this match to get this one back. But, uh, eight points, pretty big lead. It will be uh, Maxim Sakharov to see if he can add a couple more on the board. Puts that one in nicely. And uh, we have another substitution. Number six, Sakharov off. Back on is Babushkin. Number 14 for this Russian team. Again, lack of composure, quick steal. Traffic violation. Number nine. Billy Donoff. But again, there we see just a, not a great pass from Muric. Allowing Zakharov. Uh, quick hands from Zakharov. Maybe should have gone himself. Chose the pass. And uh, in the end, came to nothing. But shows you that uh, this Russian team pretty dangerous on the counter attack. A little bit of pace in the side. That always does wonders for them. So Balazic on. Or Slovenia, one of the players uh, set up number four. One of the players with no club at the moment. So that doesn't always bode well. Trying to get himself noticed, especially in the national team. Just doing what they need to do, taking the time. Work there from uh, Spitty Donoff. And again, that man Zakharov makes the steal. Oh. Off the backboard, and Russia not capitalizing sometimes on these quick breaks. And, uh, they have an eight point lead still. Really, Ron feels that they should be a little bit more ahead at this stage. Both teams looking maybe a tad rusty at times. Couple of seconds left, needs to take the shot. Uh, ball's, ball's gone dead. Get straight back on with it. 
Bounce pass there, not coming off. You see there are about 150 left. Deschnacking off. Just coming back off. Seven foot three of him. And, uh, Russia still retain the same ball. Well kept in, but uh, in some ways wasn't really a good play. It's allowed Slovenia to go for the quick three-pointer. Some great rebounding. And, uh, some good work under the boards there by uh, Spidi Donov. Russia, just over a minute left here in the second. Shot comes in. Again, nobody really fighting under the boards. Allows Lubeck to bring the ball up. We see an off the ball foul there. From uh, Nikolic, number 20. See there, Nikolic just taking out uh, Babushkin. And uh, now Russia to retain possession. They'll get it back underway with their star of this first half. Zakharov in the man in control of everything. And uh, he's really one of the reasons they're in the lead at this stage. Eight point lead should really be more. Slovenia uh, have just over 40 seconds to try and do something. Narrow that gap down to six points. With just about 34 seconds left in the second. Uh, Zakharov just trying to run this clock down now. On our way up to half time. Will probably go for the shot. Three point comes in off the rim. It's, uh, Slovenia with a quick go at a three pointer. Seven seconds left. I have to hurry. With the quick shot. And again, not quite doing it for them. So we reach half time here in Ao Ying. China, Slovenia 30, Russia 36. Join us for the third quarter after the halftime break. 